Hi everyone, welcome to Itsy Bitsy's live read of Jake the Growling Dog Goes to Doggy Daycare by Samantha Shannon. It was a glorious spring day, the warmest in a while. Winter was gone and the sun made Jake smile. Flowers burst and boomed as birds chirped their songs. Jake growled in delight, his girls singing along, his flurry... His furry legs raced down the trail with such ease, while the smell of cotton candy floated on the breeze. Jake saw colors and critters of all shapes and kinds, reds, yellows, and blues, from four legs up to nine. A friend shouted, Hello! while Jake zoomed quickly home. A flash of black followed and jumped on a groan. Jake skidded to a halt, on that gravel driveway, scattering rocks made butterflies and birds fly away. The house was abuzz and suitcase filled the car. Jake hoped that, there wouldn't, that they wouldn't be gone too long or too far. Neat launched off the gnome, squealing with surprise. You're headed to daycare, Jake. Give me, give me a high five. What's daycare? Jake growled with a tilt of his head. He figured he'd be watched by Molly instead. Neat jumped up and grabbed Jake by his warm, squishy cheeks. You've never been to daycare? How can that be? Jake looked at her blankly and shook his striped head. He gulped, the idea filling him with dread. But Neat didn't notice, too excited for him. He even tried to fake it but couldn't help feeling grim. Well, in that case, she squealed, Get ready for a treat. You'll have, have loads of fun. There'll be new friends to meet. New friends? But I have you, Molly, and Pom. Jake was worried about what was going on. What if they don't like me? What if they're scared? But Neat didn't answer. She just sat down and stared. I don't know anything else. This is my home, my trail, my forest, and friends that I know. Neat knew Jake was nervous and wanted to help. How could she make Jake see his sweet, awesome, awesome self? They'd done it before and could do it again, but Neat knew this was new and different for him. Neat paused, nose twitching. This is a predicament we're in. Then she paced while tapping a squirrely toe on her chin. Jake waited for an idea to come to his friend. He knew it would happen. On Neat, he could depend. A smile soon spread across the squirrely, fuzzy black face, and Jake knew Neat's plan was firmly in place. I have an ID. ID. Uh, an idea. The squirrel squeaked with bright eyes. You'll come with, I'll come with you, and I know just how to hide. They ran to the pantry. They used to, they used each other to reach. Neat found the fluffy sugar, sugary candy and began to eat. I'll smell like you soon and hide in your fudgy stripe. No one will suspect a thing. It will be all right. Jake nodded his head, thrilled by Neat's ingenuous plan. Now he wouldn't be alone. He'd bring his best friend. Now this wasn't now this doesn't mean that only you and I will play. You'll meet lots of new dogs and enjoy your stay. But I growl while while I play, and I growl while I run. I'll growl when I they meet me. They won't think I'm fun. I'll growl all the time, and they'll run away like before. Jake began to worry and was scared even more. Don't fear, my friend, Neat, Neat squeaked with a smirk. They'll all think you're outstanding. Trust me, this will work. So later that day, Jake and Neat rode to daycare. The windows are, were open and the breeze ruffled their hair. The moving air calmed Jake as they approached his new place. He thought of those who loved him as, as the air hit his face. Neat gave him comfort. This wasn't so scary and strange. She reminded him of home and soon his thoughts changed. I think I could do this, Jake declared to his stowaway friend. I've done new stuff before and I feel my self-confidence again. I knew you'd find your way, came a squeal from his back. You got this, so just kick back and relax. 
doggy daycare. Then the car stopped, and Jake heard a loud thud. An answering meow followed through the window above. I see we have a newbie, called the big cat from the roof. You seem very worried, or is your tail always in a poof? It's always that way, Jake growled in response. The noise sent the cat sailing. Jake knew he was the cause. Cats are always skittish, Neat said, patting Jake's fur. The dogs won't run like the furry chicken. Of that, I'm sure. They climbed out of the car and trotted to a big red building. Jake's legs shook a little and his head was reeling. Listen, Neat whispered from her furry hiding spot. Just stay positive and smile. It will help you a lot. Jake heard woofs and gasps from every direction. He thought one even sounded sort of just like him. Dogs ran around playing in a big grassy yard. They're all shapes and sizes, from 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 Chichancas to St. Bernard's. They ran after balls, frisbees, and squeaky toys. They got muddy and wet, like making all sorts of noise. Jake growled in anticipation. He couldn't wait to go play. His voice would just blend in, and the thought made his day. A woman at the entrance, waving in delight. Welcome to doggy daycare, Jake. You'll love, you'll love your two nights. Jake wagged at her happily and growled to the sky. Then he felt neat poke him. Go on, say hi. One paw in front of the other, Jake made his way as the lady opened the gate and told the others to stay. This is Jake, she hollered into the bustling dog sounds. He's new here, so have fun and show him around. Three dogs ran over and sniffed Jake up and down. Their tails wagged wildly in black, white, and brown. Neat hung on, hidden in Jake's flurry, furry fur. Wet noses kept touching and smelling her. They didn't find her through... They didn't find her, though, and the three ran away. More kept on coming, and Neat wondered how she'd stay. I think I'm okay now, Jake wh whispered to Neat. I'll run towards the woods, and you can climb up a tree. Jake didn't want anything to happen to his best friend, so he wandered to the forest, trying his best to blend in. Neat squealed. I knew, I knew you just needed a little support. I'll make some new friends. Maybe even build a cool fort. Turning away from his friend, Jake tried not to look back. His bravery, his bravery was wobbly, but soon he joined the pack. A husky ran towards him as a, as fast as a blur, followed by a massive dog with weary gold fur. I'm hi, I'm Luna. Growled the husky with lightning fast feet. Come play with Bondi and me. He's big, but quite sweet. Bondi seemed shy while staring at his huge paws. Jake wasn't the only uneasy one, and that helped him along. I'd like to play. Do you like chase? And that was all it took as the three started to race. Nighttime was tough. Jake missed home in his bed, but his owners knew how to chase away his dread. Jake's favorite toy was nestled in his overnight pack, so he snuggled the floppy white bunny named Mac. Mac comforted him, and soon he was fuzzy with sleep. He growled a little with content, but after that, not a peep. The moon crept over the farm, and the stars sparkled above. Jake dreamt of fun in his new place he was starting to love. The two days at daycare were magical, to say the least. Jake made great friends, and the trails couldn't be beat. They took hikes each day and swam in deep lakes. They chased each other, and Jake even found a snake. Jake was so happy that he had tried something new, even though it wasn't something he thought he could do. The idea of daycare made him feel scared at first, but Neat and Jake found ways to get through the worst. 
When it was time to go, Nee climbed down from the tree. She latched onto Jake's fur and left his friends wild and free. Jake padded away with tails, barks, and yeps all a blur, until Jake took off running when someone yelped, Squirrel! They made it to the car, and Jake's new friends looked surprised, but Jake and Neat just smiled as their paws waved goodbye. We all get nervous and scared sometimes, but we will get through it, and everything will be fine. The end. Thank you for listening to this story.